a farm tucked in the Vosges mountains, the Chevrolet des Ambeche, raises animals for meat and milk while protecting nature. Its grounds are covered with natural meadows, trees and bushes. For 40 years, the farm has grown while still leaving ample space for natural habitat. Goats, sheep, pigs and horses, plus a team of 10 people, watch over the land as it grows to beauty and diversity every year. Let's discover it in spring. The days are getting longer, the birds are singing, the badgers are doing housework and they gladly share their home. At the beginning of April, orchids bloom under ash trees. The goats, who have spent all winter inside, are delighted to return to their pastures. Just next to an old ash, look there, under the branch, a woodpecker nest cavity, a new one, and somebody is inside. A woodpecker, green, it's the male, you can recognize him by his red moustache. And a meter above, there is another nest where a starling is on guard. The male flies away, and now the female inspects his work. Is the nest we are liking? Will she decide to lay her eggs there? Twenty meters further on, in an old wild cherry tree, there is another woodpecker, smaller, a red head, it's a middle spotted woodpecker. And over there, the king of the place, a red deer, still wearing his velvet antlers, eats the spring birds with delight. On the edge of the same goat pasture, there is another dead tree, a maple this time, and another woodpecker. Its back white and red with a black head. It's a great spotted woodpecker, the female. Woodpeckers have two very useful tools. Their strong beak, good for digging into rotten wood, and their tongue, 
long and nimble, useful for finding insects and larvae. The middle spotted worries for a moment. But no, everything is okay. There is no danger. In the pasture, the fox is hunting. Mice, of course, but also insects, grasshopper and crickets. Nearby, we let some thorny bushes grow, hawthorn, blackthorn and rosehip, all of which are an appreciated perch for songbirds. When you sing, you have to both see well and also be seen. Here, just in front of me, a bird I've heard singing for a couple of days, the Vryneck. Will he nest here, or he is only migrating? He seems to be waiting for something. And here, another Vryneck is singing, from just beyond the bush. Incredible, a male red bucket shrike landed just in front of the Rhineck. He has been around for a few days looking for a female, but his search will continue a bit longer. The females are still in Africa and arrive a little later, once the males find a good place to build a nest. Was he confused and thought the Rhineck could be a female for him? Another Rhineck had just arrived. A mating. They will nest here. This is completely new for me. On the same bush, another bird is watching. A female red start. And there the male. They also will nest here. The meadow is rustling. In it thousands of crickets and grasshoppers are singing. All this life can thrive here because our goats come to the same pasture only twice a year. That and because there are no harmful chemicals, nor do we mulch the grass or bushes, a common practice to clean the pastures that subsequently kills the life in it. A few weeks later, I return to look at the nests. Here is the male great spotted woodpecker. His beak full of insects 
from the pasture. He's feeding his young. A starling just had a look. The fox really enjoys this pasture. His babies are not far away. Has he heard something? Beware. No, it's only a male roe deer who is coming to happily eat some wild plants from the pasture. Just aside, in another hole in a tree, another bird. The wonderful tree creeper is building his nest. The robin is in a hurry. He has to feed his babies. And there, another woodpecker. This time, it's a little spotted woodpecker. All these species live together in the same forest, while many dead trees still standing and beautiful pasture full of insects just beside them. But they won't tolerate another couple of birds of the same species too close by. It is the end of May. The grass is high now. The young red spotted woodpeckers have grown and will soon fly. Today, finally, a female red back shrike. One month late. Usually, they arrive on May 10. Just beside the pasture is a hayfield. We let plants grow until they bloom. We cut hay only at the beginning of July. These whole fields are gorgeous. So many different flowers grow here. On each flower lives many little animals. And in the middle of the hayfield lives the windshat. She lays her eggs on the ground and hunts flying insects.
no, it's the beginning of July. We can see shrikes again on the top of thorn bushes. The female is laying her eggs and the male is feeding her. But here, a baby rhinoc, he can hardly fly. They nested here. Lower in the bush, another baby. A week later, I discover a baby shrike. The male is feeding it. I found only one baby for this couple. Will it be strong enough to go back to Africa in September? Everywhere, caterpillars become butterflies. Here, we have so many natural wonders but we just have to let them live and to learn to watch their beauty.